Hey everybody, welcome back to the Engineered Angler. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the sort of miscalculations that I did on the last video and show you how to actually get the weight that you want for your lure to sink either slow, medium, medium fast, or fast. And when we're done pulling those teeth, we'll go ahead and move on to uh, announcing who the winner is of the Guess the Weight of the Fish contest. So I tend to uh, blast through the explanation for a lot of these calculations, mostly because I feel like a lot of people are put off by it and aren't all that interested in it. So I kind of blaze through it for those who are. And unfortunately that can cause some errors. And in the last video, while I was calculating how much weight to put in my uh, lure, I unintentionally added the volume plus my hardware. And what I meant to do is add the weight of the actual lure body, 37.82. And that gives me 47.91 grams. Now here's why. The volume of the actual body is the displaced volume of the water. So as I push that lure body into the water, it displaces exactly its own volume. And the weight of water per volume is one gram per cubic centimeter. And so I know that my lure has to weigh 56.4 grams the same amount as the water it displays to be absolutely neutral in the water, theoretically. But since I don't want it to be neutral, I want it to actually sink. In fact, I want it to sink kind of fast by adding the weight of the body plus the weight of the hooks plus the weight of the hardware, I get 47.91 grams. And if I subtract the 47.91 from 56.4, which is the theoretical amount of weight for it to be suspending, I get 8.5 grams. That's how much I would have to add to the body to get it to suspend. But since I want it to sink, I want to multiply that times 1.25. So it's going to be 25% more than the amount of weight just to make it neutral. Now that doesn't represent what I put in. I put in about 12.8 grams. To use this multiplier table, this is my sink rate multiplier. So the first one is uh, slow or suspending, very close to suspending. It actually slow sinks. And as you go down, you get an increase in the speed of descent or the sink rate. And if I multiply it times 1.5, which is my fast sinking, I get 12.75. And I put about 12.8 grams in that lure. So I actually lucked out and got it about where I want it. In fact, I probably would add just a little more on the next one. But I don't know that I have more room in that lure to actually add weight. So I apologize for my own error. Uh, I hope I didn't lead a bunch of people astray and they're in the middle of a lure build. All right, so without further ado, let me show you what the actual weight of the fish was. So as you saw on the scale, it's 11.12 ounces, no pounds. And the winner actually guessed 11.09. <laughs> that was really close. And the winner is Dave G. So Dave, send me an email to engineeredangler at gmail.com. And in that email, you can give me your shipping address and let me know whether you want the white mug, the black mug, or the blue mug. And along with the mug, you'll get this jelly bean crankbait in blue kill color. All right, folks, thank you for enduring this video. And thank you for everyone who uh, entered the contest and threw in their guests. And hopefully I'm going to be back on schedule and posting on Fridays with part two of the mackerel swim bait build. So hopefully I'll see you on Friday. Mm -hmm.